Let's say I make a vampire character. This vampire, unlike your average vampire, instead of transforming into bats, transforms into beetles. There is other context surrounding this character, of course. His history of being abused, his uncertainty of the validity of his own existence, and his desire to outwardly project strength at all costs. Being written by a human, it is entirely unlikely, if not impossible, that these features are disconnected from one another. Where the connections are, what they mean, and how they relate to the character at hand are for the audience to decide, but nonetheless, the character's mere development by a thinking, human consciousness necessitates that there is meaning. Consciously or otherwise, everything made in humanity's mind is born of humanity's heart. And that is its purpose. Art, primarily, is the means by which human beings grow to understand one another and the world around them and their place in said world. The reason this works, fundamentally, is because we are gazing into the souls of other, thinking creatures. We are reckoning with their perspectives of the world, perspectives which challenge, rattle, and occasionally synergize with our own all at once. In the ensuing mess of deeply deconstructive and reconstructive introspection, we are born anew. We now see the world through clearer eyes, which know both ourselves and the greater world more deeply. But to an AI, this is nothing. Because AI which produces art is incapable of thought in the way you or I understand it. AI is instead a vain mirror, a predictive string which spews the most appealing, most likely answer to your query, based on information it has been prior fed. It entirely lacks the singular, expressive soul of individual humanity, capable exclusively of regurgitating homogenized, standardized slop instead. There is little, if any, chance to discover a critical consciousness or discover oneself or the greater world through AI art or AI's communications. AI has no soul, has no intention, and has no mind with which to create. To an AI, my vampire made of beetles is a statistical outlier. It exists within the data, but its purpose, relation to the character, thematic meaning, and interpretive elements are now completely lost. There is no subtext or human beneath the beetles, there are only beetles. The AI doesn't know why beetles, it may as well be anything else, but there is a reason it is beetles, and that it must be beetles. It is beetles because of the connective tissue that only a human, thinking both literally and metaphorically, could produce. In my own imagination, of my own creation, the beetles are doubly a commentary on both self-aware existence and on superficial strength. For you see, all creatures, us included, are millions of individual living components, and we create ordered thought through reason and temporal awareness. The vampire is a bunch of bugs sewn together to illustrate and confront that uncomfortable, undignified aspect of our existence. It is one thing to imagine oneself as complex and mysterious and menacing and dignified as a bat. It is another thing entirely to reckon with the image of oneself as countless insects. This is in deliberate parallel to the vampire's own ontological distress. Secondarily, beetles present a thick outer shell, both to deter predators and promote the narrative that they are formidable. But that shell only exists to begin with because, in contrast to their presentation, beetles are quite fragile. Without that imposing outermost layer of deflective superiority, they are vulnerable and helpless. This is, again, in deliberate parallel to the vampire. He desperately seeks to present as strong, but for those in the know, his weakness and vulnerabilities are laughably transparent. An AI cannot see this. It cannot reproduce it because the context of individual human thought is beyond AI. AI is not a thing which understands subtext. It is not a thing which reasons or considers or creates. It merely reflects. In describing what the Beatles mean to you right now, I have also done you a disservice. 
The beauty of my vampire lies in actively interpreting the meaning of his seemingly disparate but doubtlessly interconnected elements. I have destroyed your capacity to interpret him. I have killed his beauty, and I have done so to prove to you that such beauty exists in the first place. Blue curtains are not, nor have they ever been, just blue curtains. By intent or accident, every work of human-made art speaks of humanity. But AI art, by contrast, only speaks of the hollow, brain-dead detritus that humans leave in their wake. <laughs>